What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bonnie and this is my channel where I talk about all things lifestyle and DIY. So if you're interested in either of those, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on those notifications. But today I'm going to show you guys how I made these DIY light stand posts for my back patio. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you keep watching. So the supplies you're going to need for this project include concrete mix. This is the concrete mix that I use. I think it's about $6 at your local Home Depot and it's a 60 pound bag and it's easy to handle. I've worked with this before. You just add water to it and this is just what I use to make the DIY stands for light posts. You're also going to need a bucket of your choice. I spray painted mine gold. Paint job's not that great, but it's going to be outside so it's not a problem. And then you're also going to need your post. So I pre-stained this with outdoor deck stain. So it is weatherproof and it's good for rain, shine, whatever it is, um, that's what I used. And I'm just using a paint stir stick to mix my concrete. You're also going to need water. So what I'm doing first is I'm going to add the concrete into the bucket. So if you read the directions, it tells you to add six inches to the bottom of your bucket or whatever you're using to set a post. But since my bucket was super small, I just added how much ever concrete I was going to use. And then I added the post directly into it and then added water and mixed around it. So you'll see here that I'm creating like a little hole for the post, but I ended up just pouring the concrete all in and then adding the water. Make sure you are wearing a protective mask as well as gloves because concrete is going to be bad for your hands and bad for your lungs. That box is just there because I don't have extra set of hands to help me hold the post straight so that I could add the concrete. I kind of just keep going until I feel like it's enough. And then I also guesstimate on how much water to add. And there is my paint stir stick in action. So I'm just kind of mixing it up as I go. I know I'm probably not going to get all the way to the bottom, but it's totally fine as long as the majority of it is mixed and then it sets well. The bag does tell you that you'll need four quarts of water for the entire bag, but since I didn't use the entire bag, I didn't need to use all of the water. So now I'm just kind of smoothing it out and making sure that it will set nicely. This is what it looks like after it's all mixed up and ready to sit for the next 24 hours for it to set. Just making sure that it stands straight. I use a clamp and a two by four to ensure that it does. So it's been 24 hours and it has set. Now I'm just adding a pilot hole at the top and I'm attaching a cup hook so that I have something to hang the lights from. You can see that I already have one other stand. 
I actually brought these from California, so I have a total of three stands now. And now I'm just going to be positioning them in the back three corners in my backyard. These are going to be made for more lightweight lights, I should say. I did have to secure them to the fence because the lights that I had purchased and the length between the lights is a lot longer than it was in my back patio in California. So I do have to make some adjustments just to make sure that these don't blow over with any type of wind or bad weather. So these are the outdoor string lights that I purchased. I got them from Amazon. It's 48 feet and I purchased two. I wanna say they're one of the best sellers. I needed some shatterproof lights because the ones that I had in California broke a lot. So I ended up getting these because they had really good reviews. So first I'm going to add a cup hook to the top part of my patio because that's where it's going to be strung from so that it can reach the outlet. Then I swung it over to the light post that was next to the house and then I was able to string it over to the far corner. I had to wrap it around the cup hook because the light with the hook on it didn't reach the actual cup hook. So like I was saying earlier, these are more lightweight and because of the length between the light post, it got a little bit heavy. So I had to lengthen it a little bit and give it some slack so that these light posts wouldn't fall down. In order to fix this, I'm just going to probably add more concrete later on. And here's what the lights look like at night. I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY tutorial. If you did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time.